Today, I want to talk about affordable wire piercing probes. These on AES Wave are not affordable. That pricing is in US dollars on US soil. If you try to get that, say in Canada or Australia, you can triple that price in our respective currencies. That is not what the Gadgets Playlist is all about. They're a little easier to order from Amazon, and they're the same Pomona brand that is on the AES Wave site. But still, that's 87 bucks plus tax. And here is a fluke lookalike. I mean, that's ridiculous. Here's a Chinese knockoff. Sure looks a lot like that fluke. And they can be found on Amazon and on AliExpress. Look at that pricing. So here's a fly in the ointment. A bunch of us guys on the Telegram 8 scope group ordered some of these. For some guys, they came in okay, where this pin would reach all the way to the bottom of the V here. But for others, the pin came up short. It would not reach all the way down. Some guys made a claim, got a second batch sent to them, and those were okay. Some guys chose to repair them, and I followed their lead by pulling the needle out a little bit and recrimping it here. And at that pricing, they become a viable option. I want to show you another affordable option that with a mod can be made viable. First, look at how sleek these things are. It's a really small pin that fits real nice right down to the bottom of the V. And that even on a small 24 gauge wire, pierce really well without any damage to the wire. But as you may have already figured out here, there's no provision to retain this part. It will slide out in use. Here is my mod for that if you have access to a 3D printer. These were not printed vertical on the print bed. Instead, they're flat like this with that groove vertical. This is how you get the best layer adhesion strength. The square was made for this to be able to slide in. And on this end, when aligned with those grooves, that goes in, a quarter turn locks it, and you can't pull that out. With this end positioned, and this barely inserted, we apply a drop of crazy glue on each of these four faces, and we slide it in position. Once cured, that will not come out unless you turn it a quarter turn and take it out. And they boil down to less than a dollar each. In closing, I want to point out that the COVID situation in China is affecting the factories and the delivery companies, and that the restocking of the HS502 oscilloscope on Martin Lawrence store. Uh, the date has been pushed back to after the first week of January. Take care, guys.